hardest parts of satisfying your sweet tooth oh, yeah. is knowing that whatever you eat, you're most likely going to indulge in something that's not exactly healthy for you. But one bakery in Gross Point Park on Kircherville says that doesn't have to be the case. Michelle Oliver takes us to the dine in to the D at Cornell Cornwall Bakery. Hi, my name is Freeman Gunnell. I'm the owner of Cornwall Bakery in Gross Point Park, Michigan. I've always had an affinity towards working in kitchens and working with food. And as I started to go further along in my career, uh, I found I had a little bit of a, a more of a knack to do pastries and breads. Over the years, Freeman worked in several kitchens under some amazing chefs like Wolfgang Puck, but he wanted to get out of the kitchen. Having a family is important to me, and, and if I didn't have my family, I might be you know, working around the clock, but now it's, it's like you want to take time to be with your family and see them grow up. Uh, I thought for me a career in bakery would be a little bit better than just in a restaurant. So he opened Cornwall Bakery. And I wanted something that didn't define us as specific to who we should be. We don't want to take over one thing or another. We just want to be able to dabble in certain things and provide a little bit of everything. And he does mean everything. From soups to cakes to bread, he does it all. And he does it his way, meaning he serves items he would be proud to serve his family. If let's say I'm making something that I can't stand behind, I don't eat, then it's hard for me to sell it. Uh, I want to have to where I really think that this is the best product for people to eat and, and that I eat it and that they can eat it as well. He tries to use no artificial colors and is almost completely trans fat free. Plus, he likes to use less sugar than most bakeries. The sweeter the better is not, not, our, um, not our policy because uh, we don't want to have it where you can taste the sugar dripping off your teeth. We, we would like it if you could just taste the full effect of the cake or the bread or whatever the item might be. So we, we use a lot of scratch items because that way we can control how much sugar, how much fat, how much salt goes into the product. Well, since they're big on getting hands-on, I thought I would get hands-on and help them make some croissants. The dough was already mixing, so we took it out and rolled it out. Once rolled out, it's time to fold in the butter. You're going to take butter and you're going to line it up to where we're right to about, I'll mark it off. Thank you. Right today. All right, so just lie it out like how you did? Yep. Sticky. Then you're going to fold this into here. Hence the folding term. Yes. Now, the other part will go that way. Okay. So that part's you. So, lift. All right. So, now, this is what's considered the lock-in or the roll-in. That means we rolled it out and folded it again and again. Pretend like you're kneading someone's, uh, you know, body massage kind of thing. You're going to press down really hard, like you're really trying to oh, work out like the... Oh, like you're really working out those knots. Yes, working out the knots. There you go. And again. After that, we let it rest for a bit. Then it was time to roll them into their recognizable crescent shape. This is where I feel like I might be an expert at it because this was my job when I was a kid with my mom, was oh. rolling the well, little crescent roll. We're going to take the dough okay. and fold it from the back part all the way up to the front. And then you just roll it around? Yeah, and then you pinch it. There's my croissant. Then they're ready for the oven, and they come out like this, flaky and delicious. We love flaky and delicious. In studio <laughs> with us now is Freeman Gunnell, owner of Cornwall Bakery. Now you started something with the restaurant and brewery across the street. Tell mm. me about it. Yeah, we made our way across the street and uh, Atwater Brownie, um, or Atwater uh, Brewery. Atwater yeah. Brewery. Uh, <laughs> lost train of thought Okay. There. They um, have wonderful beers that we decided that we could maybe pair up our desserts with their beer. Mm. Wow. And so uh, they gave us five different um, beers and we reduced them down and made like little glazes and uh, oh extracts and then we added them to different desserts to create uh, something that they could have a flight of beer with a flight of desserts oh and goodness. taste the the oh different desserts no. Well, we're beyond <laughs> excited. So Absolutely. we're going to be making your blondie brownies using yes. Atwater's Dirty Blonde Pale Ale. So how do we mm. get started? All right. So first we're going to take butter. Right there. Everyone likes butter. We're going to mix the butter with butter. some brown sugar. All right. So Lomas is going to do that for us, there. and you're going to mix the sugar in and let that come to a nice simmer. All righty. And Tati, you're going to crack eggs okay. and crack them right into this pitcher. 
and then just give that a nice stir to okay. incorporate it. You want me and to put them in one at a time, right? One at a time? No, no, that's oh, fine. Okay. Um, you can put them all in there. All right. um, one at a time or all together, it doesn't matter. And the thing that's nice is vanilla. This works good. Yeah, this yeah. is a nice oven. Yeah. The, the vanilla and the dirty blonde is mixed together. Oh. And we can mix that in with the eggs. Oh, okay. right. And the nice thing, they complement each other, so it's always good to mix eggs and vanilla together. Okay. Um, just so like that would be one of your tips, definitely, when you're baking. Mix yes. The eggs and the vanilla. Yeah, just together. don't okay. store it that way, because if you store it that way, it can sometimes um, curdle the egg yolk. Okay. So oh, okay. egg yolk's Got curdling it. is not great for desserts. Okay. So How's he, that looking? He's getting that you're almost in. there. I know, I'm, this is looking good. You're almost good. there. Yeah. And then we're going to, once that is fully melted, mm -hmm. we're going to put it right in this bowl. That's a large size Yeah, we would have a, you should just go ahead and put that in because we only have about a minute left, so we want to show right, as so much go ahead as and we put that in. can. And then we're going to add I'm these. Next. Yep, you're next. And there you go. What's important with egg yolks is that you incorporate in in a little bit of time so you don't want to scramble the eggs. Right. So we're going to mix that in. Those are those fast bacon hands right there. <laughs> He's right. a pro. He's yes. a professional. And then we're going to add salt. Okay. Okay. Cake flour. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right, Tati. All right. And baking powder. And then you're going to follow up with the mm -hmm. chips. Okay. I'll put and some the chips in there. pecans. All right. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Great. So then we get it all together. Dun da da dun. But then it's we bake it all together, and what do we get? <laughs> And we get blondies. Oh. So blondies are oh my goodness. blondies are brownies without chocolate, right? Mm -hmm. So you have butterscotch chips and pecans without the without the chocolate. You can add other things instead of the, the pecans. You could do walnuts or pecans you can make it nutless. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I like them that way too. Absolutely. And, and so the dirty blonde is a great um, brownie to complement the beer, and they go together so nicely because they have coriander and oh. orange. Um, orange peel in the beer and also we have in our blondie reduction we have orange peel and a little cardamom. Delightful. Oh. So you can smell that. Delightful. Oh, wow. That's what's incorporated. Remind in everyone the, uh, where you're located one more time really quickly. We're, in Kirch we're on Kirchival in Gross Point Park um, right near Alter and uh, well, uh, near Jefferson. Perfect. Well, we're Those giving away parts, three $10 gift cards to Cornwall oh, yeah. Bakery for your chance to win. Go to our Live of the Day Facebook page. Rules are posted at clickondetroit.com. I'm eating a brownie. But next on Live. <laughs>